going on, guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day, and today we're going to have a bit. Union Street. Then turn left onto Cleveland you have Avenue. to stop interrupting me, you random woman. Today we're going to be doing a Dodge Ram. This is a maintenance customer. Um, what I mean by that is instead of doing a full detail like I usually do, I every week I just keep up with his car, make sure that every week his car looks fantastic so it doesn't get too dirty. Um, maintenance watches are obviously a lot less money, but they also take a lot less time. So uh, this video is going to be very short, but you know me, I'm, I'm on the grind, bro. Got to make a video every freaking video, every, any chance I get. So At let's the next light, turn right. stop interrupting me. Let's get into it, guys. All right, here she is. Beautiful, beautiful Ram. Oh, and a motorcycle next to it. We're not doing the exterior, but the interior will be worked on by Dunlap Customs. So let's actually back up. Let's check out the car, see how dirty it is every freaking time here's the interior now that we actually got in leathers look good plastics look very clean this is a maintenance wash so it's not going to be too dirty those need to be cleaned obviously plastics in the center stack look pretty good that's going to need some cleaning a little bit Let's go over to the side check out the back some motorcycles there diddly diddly do diddly diddly do Back is cleaner than the front. Typical truck. Ready, guys? Let's get into it. I can't really get a camera angle here because this is such a tight squeeze. So I'm just gonna take this time to go over what I do on the door to make it perfection. So I start with the top right here. I scrub that and then I go down and I keep going down to the bottom. So little stuff like this, you kind of get used to over time. You can get uh, the most of it with this. Then you're gonna go over here and use this with the little nooks and crannies. But stuff like this, cracks in here, mostly cubbies, stuff like this. You're gonna spray in there, wipe it with this, and stuff like this where crumbs still can't get out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe get all the dirt off the surface, clean it, and then after, during the vacuum stage, then you're gonna go and vacuum all those crumbs up. And because it's already been, the surface has already been touched, the stuff is gonna come right up. And then after you do your second plastic clean and you got a perfect door. We are done with our initial plastic clean. Now we're gonna get onto the carpets. The carpets aren't gonna get any special treatment. Um, a, because it's a maintenance wash, and B, because they're in really good condition, so there's no need. Um, the vacuum will do the trick. So with no further ado, let's use their electricity today because they said I could. I'd rather save money on gas. So uh, let's get into it, guys.
done with the carpets. Very easy. Probably one of the easiest carpets I've ever done, actually. It is a maintenance wash, so it does make sense. But no further ado, let's get to the rubber mats. We're gonna use their water on these rubber mats and um, some degreaser. Get the um, drill brush going with the generator and uh, they're gonna be all nice and squeaky clean. Let's go. done with this vehicle let's check it out you know me i little i always go a little overboard on these maintenance washes pretty much just looks like my normal detail <laughs> that i do on higher end cars or people that pay a little bit more but you know i have way too much ocd for this i have i literally just have to i just have to make it look good it's whatever business is business sorry for that i swear it's clean Alrighty, let's go on over here. I'm not gonna open that door because last time I opened that, I almost hit the motorcycle. So here is the passenger side. It is all nice and spiffy clean. Center stack's looking good. No dust on that screen. He still has the freaking peelable screen on there, which is throwing my OCD off a little bit, but hey, you know, it'll keep a clean screen for a while. But yeah, looking good guys. All right, I'll see you back at home.